Seven to Chopper One. Chopper One. I'm in pursuit of a speeding yellow sports car. Two door, black stripe, north from Grant on 12th Street. Can you assist? Dead for. I call the apartment, nobody answered. Well, you don't have to worry. Look what's coming. Hey, Foley, you got the time? Hey, you better move it. We got briefing in 10 seconds. I know, I know. But what happened? You don't want to hear it. Yeah, try me. OK. OK, my alarm didn't go off, right? So I jump out of bed with not a second to spare, get in my clothes and start driving. What happens? I got a ticket for speeding. You're right, I don't want to hear it. Hey, uh, tell McKeegan I'm here, right? Those units will operate in the area of the brush fires, which now makes about 20 square miles. And... It's very nice of you to join us, Foley. Uh, I'm sorry, Captain. It's no trouble, no trouble at all. I'm docking you one day's pay, and if it happens again, two days, and so forth and so on. Is that clear? Uh, yes, sir, Captain. You and Burdick are on semi-detached duty with the fire department. What's the semi part of that mean, Captain? That means you'll answer all regular emergency calls. Otherwise, you'll stay with them as spotters. Also, I'm modifying your chopper slightly for this job. What kind of modification? Mitch will tell you all about that. Okay, are there any other questions? 
All right, let's get it on. Well, now, what do we got here? Wait, wait, let me guess. Um, coffee machine, right? Exhausted firefighters needing a break. We land in the nick of time. Where are the donuts? They're auxiliary gas tanks, gentlemen. Just switch them on when you're running low, and you can stay up an extra hour. But I don't want to stay up an extra hour. Well, that's a lot of weight, Mitch. What happens if we get in trouble? Well, simple. Just release the emergency catch and drop them. Be sure it's switched off so they're deactivated before they hit the ground. It's going to be one thing after another today. All the signs are there. Just remember what I said. Number one, the engine company, P-88. You got a flare-up about 300 yards north of the ridge line and a hot spot in that ravine to your left. Roger, chopper one, we're rolling on it. Chopper one, the Bore 8 bomber, lay it down north of the ridge line. You long. What happened? A friend of mine got busted up. Took a bad fall. We carried him over to that cabin. Come on, let's have a look. How do you feel? Not too bad. 
good as new. Take their guns. And what is this? Oh, you might call it hijacking, kidnapping, unlawful seizure of government property. We'll need you, and we'll need your machine out there. What for? You're going to help us get a friend out of prison. You mean fly him out? That's what I mean. You're crazy. It shouldn't be difficult. Police helicopter landing in a prison yard should at first seem quite legitimate. We'll hold you hostage while your friend and one of my men make the trip. Then you're going to make a radio call saying that the injured man has been picked up and is being flown in. By the time your men become suspicious, job will be done. Suppose we refuse. Then you're dead. You do believe me, don't you? I believe you. His name's Vic Altman. There's a one out on him from up north. Grand theft and murder one. Very good. Get his cousin, put him to use. We'll keep him inside here, out of sight. Somebody else may have picked up the rescue call and may decide to help. Okay, let's go. I'll be back. You better hope so. Wait a minute. Okay, make your call. And don't pony it up. I know all the codes. Chopper 1 to dispatch. Do you read? 10-4, Chopper 1. Your transmission is weak, but we read. We've made contact with the hikers. We're flying in the injured man. Notify North Valley Emergency Hospital. 10-4. That takes care of the radio. Now you're on your own. And remember, whatever happens to your buddy in there depends on you. Ready, Hatcher? Yeah, yeah, sure. What's the matter? What's wrong? Nothing. I just never liked these things. Truth is, they're not safe. Engine quits on a chopper, it goes down like a stone. Don't get cute. Hatcher, wait till you're back over the mountains, out of sight. Yeah, that part I'm looking forward to. All right, good going. He's a friend of yours, that pilot, because I'd better come back. He might. And then he might not. Well, if he doesn't, my friend, you'll get totaled. Enough of that. I'm okay. That's the way Benchak finds his guts in that bottle. I guess it makes him nervous being around a cop. Maybe it's killing cops that make him nervous. Oh, now, who said we're gonna kill you? Just gonna let us walk out of here, right? Well, who knows what's gonna happen? You'll probably live a long and happy life. This friend of yours must be pretty important. You're taking quite a chance. Important? Nah, it's not so important. Not in the usual sense. 
He's just a stupid punk. As a matter of fact, he's so stupid, he's not coming all the way back. You got all this trouble, and then you're just gonna kill him. Well, he said he was gonna think on us unless we got him out. So we're getting him out. Don't waste your sympathy on him. It's his own fault. Yeah, I'd like to see his face when uh, he finds out about it. Feel so good. I'm gonna get a pass for the dispensary. There he is! Moving off by himself there. Make another swing around, and when I tell you, set this thing down right next to him. You got it!
hole. Got it? You got it? station about 40 miles from there. Let's check that and see if we can make radio contact with them. Captain, you heard anything? Nothing. That emergency hospital hasn't seen or heard of them. Well, what about another hospital? They might have taken them in. Checked it all out, Mitch. We can't even make radio contact. Look, let's face it. They could have gone down anywhere in that whole mountain range. I'm going to give it another hour, and then I'm going to call out air search. Gil's not down. It's something else, Captain. There's something else wrong. Jen. Talk about luck. You really got it today, Vic. Yeah, losers always call it luck. It's knowing the odds. I always figure the odds on everything I do. I told you you had to come out. I want your head clear when this thing comes up. Hey, you don't tell me when to drink or not. I'll tell you when to breathe if I want to. It's them. It is. Now the cuffs on right. They're gonna be tight like this. You're stupid, my friend. I'll kill you before I have to. Now, come on, let's go. Auxiliary tank. Oh, man, it went up like a bomb. He'll live. I can fly him out. Let's hogtie these others. You played against the odds this time, Altman. And you, you nearly cost me a year's growth with that stunt. With these guys, you probably wouldn't have had any growth. Come on. I thought you did. Especially you, Foley. You showed not only courage, but real imagination. So, about that day's pay I was docking you. Yeah. In view of your performance, I decided to forget it. Thanks, Captain. Until I heard you were stopped for speeding. You are still docked a day's pay, Foley. Talking to that man's like Russian roulette. <laughs> <laughs> 